I've decided to start with my story since it's the hardest part for me and it's one of the most important things to understand when I'm trying to discuss my business idea. When I was 19 years old, I was a pretty severe drug addict. I'm almost 40 now, I'll be 40 on Sunday. And I had an overdose when I was 19. And I could feel that I was dying. And I felt my soul being pulled out through the back of my head at the nape of my neck, which I learned later is called the Enlightenment Center. And it's common for us to leave when we die through that area. And it was a very scary experience. I kept pulling myself back into my body through that area and I could feel that if I allowed myself to go all the way out that I would be gone and this went on for hours it was exhausting my entire body went completely numb I was alone I didn't even think to call an ambulance or anything like that. It, interestingly, it wasn't even in my awareness at all. But while I was going through this experience, I it was like I entered into some kind of other dimension. And when I did, I came toe to toe with this massive force, this tsunami of energy, like nothing I'd ever felt before. And I felt immediately humbled. And I said to it, wow, God is a tiny name for something so magnificent. And it replied back to me, a better name is Gashikta. I learned almost 20 years later that that word Gashikta means history in German. And I find that to be just fascinating. So I had conversations with this divine force for hours and in this separation of space and time began to develop to develop a relationship with with it until eventually I was so exhausted that I passed out and during that time of of conversation I I said to this force, you know, I will, I'll change my life. I will do whatever it is that I'm supposed to do. Whatever, no matter how difficult, no matter, no matter what, I'll do it. If I can live, because I don't want to die. And I was shown my funeral. I could see all of these people that loved me. And it changed my perspective on life completely, just completely. And then one night, I became a very different person. So obviously, I didn't die from that experience. And when I came back into the regular world, first, I had a lot of anxiety. I was having continual panic attacks and was just pretty haunted by the death experience because it wasn't real glorious like some people's are. And 
but I also started to really dive into myself and into the meaning of life and really assess how to make my life more meaningful. And this led me on the path that I'm still on today. I still have a relationship with that divine force named Gashikta. And this 20 years later, that force speaks through me to people that are needing help, people with very serious things going on, things like multiple personalities or it's called something different now, but people that are suicidal, people that are completely lost, people that just don't know what to do in this world, and then also to people that just really want to become something grand, people that realize there's something more to me and I want to know how to get in touch with it. So that's the beginning of my story and that's the beginning of how this therapy and this education that I've been practicing for four years now, that's how it came about. All right.